Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and as you can see behind me, not only is it very early, it is around 6 o'clock, I am at Heathrow and I'm waiting for Sam and we are going on a bit of a treasure hunt today to find a car that is the Ford Mustang. Now it has been a long time coming since I have been able to get behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang since I saw it at the North American Motor Show. It's a stunning car, something I'm so excited about and I've been pestering Ford for for quite some time. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We are here and I've met up with Sam from Scene 2 Class. Can you stop following me? <laughs> <laughs> I just like to make all the same content as you. Right, how do we, how do we, I how checked do, in. Oh, have you checked in? Yeah. Do you, do I just queue in here? No. Oh, here. Oh. Automated machine. Oh. We're on a treasure hunt. We need to find the gold. <laughs> So long British Airways plane, now I need to catch up with Sam because he's left me. We have arrived in Munich and the treasure hunt begins. And I'm vlogging Sam, he's got his camera out. Did you feel any of the plane? No, I'm doing nice. We both had middle seats which made it really difficult to, really difficult to vlog. However, I did because I'm dedicated to getting the best part. <laughs> I filmed the whole landing, did you? Yep. So I filmed the whole landing which you would have seen. And it is a beautiful day. Still, I think it's about four or five degrees outside. Yeah, so. yeah it's gonna be freezing. It's beautiful, but freezing. So let's hope that the car that we are trying to find has heated. Do you know where we are? Heated Do you know the country we're in? Yeah, we're in Germany, Munich. I heard on the um, tannoy from the, the pilot. We are in baggage reclaim, but we don't need to reclaim any baggage. We are done. And um, let's go. We need to. What? 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 One? Did I say? B. In B, so we okay. So we have to go through gate B to find our car for the trip. I reckon we go out. Okay, I've been told it's not too difficult to find. Well, I originally thought that this was going to be an easy treasure hunt. Turns out, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be. Um, not too sure. Because I think it would be fairly easy to find. The car? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I've caught a glimpse of our treasure. Our golden treasure. Work. No. He's driving off. <laughs> quick! Quick! There it is! <laughs> well, this is our car for the uh, day. Not the day. Holy moly. <laughs> Pete, how you doing? Paul. Okay. Yourself? Yeah, good, thank you. Good Sam. to meet you. Hi, Sam. How are you well, this... Come in and we'll yeah? just get down the road and... Perfect. Let's get out of this. I've got for you two. Um, Mike is here. So I'm going to jump in the back. Oh.
So we jumped into the car, I was squished into the back of the car and we went from the airport to the hotel where we've just dropped our driver off. And now, for the first time, we can get a close look by ourselves of the gold chrome Mustang. We have found the treasure. Oh, that car's just had a, I don't know whether that's just had a crash, but that Jaguar looked bent. Not a Jag? No, oh yeah, it was a Jag. So here we go. This is a Swedish Ford Mustang V8 five litre manual gearbox. And as you can see, it has been wrapped in gold chrome. This isn't a choice that I had or that Sam had, but Sam has got the key. And check this out. This is, I love the wheels for one. The wheels, it, are, spot on. The wheels are beautiful. <laughs> it's mad. It's got the clear tail lights, which I love. I think they're so cool. And it is a normal, yellow car this is the interior we're going to be shooting this over the next 24 hours we're going to be driving it we're going to be doing the press drives we're going to be trying to find some really cool roads so we've just come back from monaco with our cool cars sam is already getting in position to drive the car yeah, I'm, I'm, decided I'm driving okay. into town and then you can drive the mountain roads off okay cool so sam is going to drive us to the hotel and um yeah i'm excited about the next 24 hours we've got beautiful weather sam start the beast oh. It's quick. It's definitely quick. The five litre V8 is definitely powerful and moves this. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quick. It is it's quick. quick. <laughs> Look at this beautiful weather. We could not have picked a better day and a half to come to Munich to drive this car. How do yeah. you summarize the beautiful sunshine? The weather is spot on. Yeah. I just want to go on to my epic drive now. So apparently we are currently on a motorway according to our sat nav. This is apparently one of the most picturesque motorways I've ever been on a motorway. <laughs> yeah. Heading into the city center of Munich. Munchen. Or München. How do you pronounce the dub? The two dots. München. München. In Germany, that sign means no speed limit. So we are now on the autobahn, headed to Munich. Let's hope you're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain. Yeah. Are we going straight? Yeah, we're going straight. That Ferrari went. I think we're back on the uh, autobahn. Yeah, at least he thinks we are. <laughs> we're all, yeah, we're definitely back on the no speed limit part of the autobahn. It could be a Munich football player. That is so nice from the back. It's been a while since I've fallen in there, <laughs> but he's, he's filming. <laughs> so good out the back. Good fun. See you, mate. What a nice car. It's a Porsche, but get blocked by the tram. I've seen some half, half decent cars. We've seen an R8. We've seen the new Boxster Spider, and we've seen the FF on the motorway. There's a G wagon over there. There's I can see there's another G wagon. Where's the Bentley? There was the Bentley. Oh, there was a Bentley. And uh, there's a Tesla. There's a red Tesla. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a good scene. Is that a new Evoque coming? Oh, that's getting me excited. This car is so raw. Like I've got my feet down in a passenger footwell, as any passenger would, and you can feel the engine revving, you can feel the vibrations on the floor, which is really, really cool and really sort of raw. I feel like I'm in a proper raw road car and that is a red light set. Yeah, I know, but also I was using it strategically to figure out where the hell are we going? <laughs> oh my God, we're going into a car lift. Oh my God, oh my good God. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is horrible. This is weird. This is horrible. Open oh, sesame. And there we have it. Wait for the green light. The green light has gone. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. 
how very antisocial. Perfect. What a good looking car. Okay, so this is a cycling lane that both me and Sam have nearly been run over about four times. This is just part of the pavement in the UK, but in Germany is where cyclists go. Okay, we have decided that we're gonna go to the grill place because we don't particularly trust anything around here. Yeah, no, I think it's better to go out and stuff. At least we explore. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that, a ghost. Nice. <laughs> We've waited ages for this, you know. So. <laughs> Look what the time is. The time is 10 o'clock. Oh my god, we're having steaks at 10 o'clock. <laughs> we're getting up at like 7. Yeah. Dinner is finished and we're now heading back to our hotel, which is there. Then I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded. It is 11 p.m. at night and I'm going to get run over by a taxi. Thank you for watching. Say thank you, Sam. Thank you for watching. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow where we are going to get behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang all day and then fly back to the UK. I'm going to be filming two videos tomorrow, a daily vlog, which is going to go from start to finish, uh, starting here and then ending in the UK. And I'm also going to do a video talking about the Mustang and why it is a bit of a phenomenon, really. I will see you tomorrow for a daily vlog. Cheers, guys. That looks a lot better on the road than the old R8. Just the new headlights, always coming back. The new headlights make such a big difference.